Hello and welcome back to the History Almanac, where we explore fascinating facts and stories from the past. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the shortest war in history, the Anglo-Zanzibar War of 1896. This war lasted for less than an hour, but it had significant consequences for the region and the world. How did this war start? What happened during the brief battle? And what were the outcomes of this conflict? Let's find out. The Anglo-Zanzibar War took place in Zanzibar, an island off the coast of East Africa that was once a powerful trading hub and a centre of culture and commerce. Zanzibar was ruled by a sultan who had a lot of autonomy but was also under the influence of various European powers who competed for trade and territory in Africa. In 1890, Britain and Germany signed a treaty that divided their spheres of interest in East Africa. According to this treaty, Zanzibar became a British protectorate, meaning that Britain had control over its foreign affairs and defence, while the Sultan retained some internal authority. In 1893, Britain installed a pro-British Sultan named Hamad bin Thuwaini, who agreed to follow British advice and cooperate with their interests. However, Ahmad died suddenly on August 25th, 1896, under suspicious circumstances. Many people suspected that he was poisoned by his cousin, Khalid bin Bagash, who was more nationalist and anti-British. Khalid quickly moved into the palace and declared himself the new sultan without consulting the British consul, Basil Cave. This was a violation of the Treaty of 1890, which required that any new sultan had to obtain British approval before taking power. Cave was furious with Khalid's actions and demanded that he stepped down immediately. He also sent a telegram to London asking for permission to use force if necessary. Khalid refused to surrender and instead gathered his forces around the palace. He had about two and a half thousand men, some artillery pieces, machine guns, and a royal yacht in the harbour. He also hoped to get support from other European powers, especially Germany, which had a consulate nearby. However, Cave had already mobilised his own forces to confront Khalid. He had four British warships in the harbour, commanded by Rear Admiral Harry Rawson. He also had 150 marines and sailors on shore, as well as 900 Zanzibari troops loyal to Britain. Cave received a reply from London authorising him to use force if needed. He then issued an ultimatum to Khalid. Either leave the palace by 9am on August the 27th, or face war. Khalid ignored the ultimatum and prepared for battle. At 9.02am on August the 27th, Cave ordered Rawson to open fire on the palace. The British ships unleashed a barrage of shells and bullets that quickly set the palace on fire and disabled Khalid's artillery. The royal yacht was sunk by a single shot and two smaller boats were also destroyed. Some shots were fired back at the British ships and troops, but they were ineffective and caused only one injury. The flag at the palace was shot down at 9.40am and the fire ceased at 9.46. The war was over in less than an hour. It is considered to be the shortest war ever recorded in history. Khalid managed to escape from the palace and sought refuge in the German consulate. He later fled to Germany, East Africa, now Tanzania, where he lived in exile until his death in 1927. The British suffered only one wounded sailor, while Khalid's forces had about 500 casualties, including civilians. The palace was badly damaged by the bombardment and had to be rebuilt. The British installed a new sultan named Hamoud bin Mohammed, who was more compliant with their wishes. He abolished slavery in Zanzibar as a condition of his ascension. The British also increased their control over Zanzibar's affairs and reduced its autonomy. The Anglo-Zanzibar War marked the end of Zanzibar's independence and the beginning of its colonial era. The war also had wider implications for the relationships between Britain and Germany in Africa. The Germans were unhappy with the British aggression and accused them of violating international law. They also supported Khalid's claim to the throne and tried to use him as a bargaining chip in future negotiations. The war increased tensions and rivalry between the two powers. 
which would eventually lead to the First World War. The Anglo-Zanzibar War was a brief but dramatic episode in the history of Zanzibar and Africa. It showed how European imperialism and intervention affected the lives and destinies of millions of people. It also demonstrated how a small incident could have large and lasting consequences. Thank you for watching the History Almanac. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe for more. See you next time.